What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to warp text into shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Now as you can see on my screen I have Illustrator up and running and we're ready to get started. So the purpose of this video is to warp text inside of a shape. In order to do that we have to start out with a shape. Now prior to filming this video I copied a picture of a heart onto my clipboard. Now all I have to do is paste it into my document because we have to start out with a shape. So I'm going to hit command V to paste it into my document and this is just the regular vector image of a heart all you got to do is google heart vector and you should end up with like a heart shape that looks like this but even if you end up with an organic shape that's still fine too but i'm going to stick to this one so I'm, I'm, what i'm going to do is enlarge this shape like so and there we go so now i'm going to turn this into a vector image for illustrator so what i'm going to do is select it then I'm going to go up here to image trace and then I'm going to hit expand so we can see all the pixels and anchor points that are within this heart and as you can see it'll come out black and white what we're going to do is get rid of the white part so that way it's just the heart shape so I'm going to go to my white arrow tool here and I'm just going to select every part of this uh, image that's white so we can get rid of that and after you click on it, we're gonna hit delete. And we're left with a white portion up here. So I'm gonna click on it, hit delete. And now we're left with a black heart. So the next thing that we're gonna do is put the text into our document too, because we'll need that to warp text into this shape. And since it's the week of Valentine's Day, I want to use Happy Valentine's and Day. So the way that's gonna work is it's gotta be three separate text boxes because I'm gonna take this heart and split it into three pieces. That way one piece will have the word happy, the next piece will have the word Valentine's, and the last part will have the word day. In order for me to do that, I have to put the word happy, the word Valentine's, and the word day in three separate text boxes. So later on, I'll show you how to split this heart up into three different pieces, but for now I'm gonna drag it to the side off the canvas, and for now, we're gonna add our text. So for now, I'm gonna grab my text tool. It should be a letter T icon on the side. I'm just gonna click and drag anywhere in my document. All right, and now I'm gonna type in the word happy, like so. And you can also make that any color you want. So let me highlight this text, go over to my palette, and I'm gonna make it like a a pink color like a hot fuchsia pink kind of okay and now we're gonna make another text box so that we, we can use the word Valentine's so I'm gonna hold the option key and I'm gonna click and drag that text box anywhere else in my document all right and now I'm gonna change that to the word Valentine's let me make that bigger actually text box bigger okay and now I'm gonna hold the option key again drag that text box down and then I'm gonna change that to the word day all right so now we have the word happy the word Valentine's and the word day all in three separate text boxes like this well let me move these down yeah three different text boxes that look like this so now I'm gonna move this to the side of our canvas. And now let's bring our heart shape back. All right, so now we're gonna split this into three different pieces. Now when we're splitting this heart into three pieces, they don't all have to be equal pieces. So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna select this heart and then I'm gonna go to my eraser tool here. Now with this eraser tool, I can draw anywhere onto this heart shape here. And whatever I draw that's on this heart, it becomes its own separate object. So let me go to my white arrow tool right here. And if I click on this object and drag it anywhere else, you can see that it became its own separate object. But if I use my regular selection tool, and if I select just this one shape, you can see that both of these shapes are grouped together. So you can always ungroup that by hitting ungroup like so. And now you're free to select this object with your regular selection tool if you want. 
but in my case I'm not going to use this specific object so I'm going to use command Z to undo everything I just did and now we're going to select our heart again and go to our eraser tool here and I'm just going to cut out a piece of the heart like so let me try that again there we go I like that piece okay so let me cut out another one because I have three different text boxes so we're gonna split this heart into three pieces so right now we have two pieces so now we're gonna split this big piece into two by just clicking and dragging along the heart and it makes a path like so all right so now we have one two three pieces of this heart so I'm going to select all these pieces right here or you can just click on any of them if you have your selection tool this black arrow on you can select all of them by just clicking like that and you can ungroup them if you want so I'm going to hit ungroup all right and now we can bring our text boxes back into our canvas and now we can actually begin to warp this text into each piece of our heart so before we get to doing that, I'm going to right click on these text boxes here. I'm going to go all the way down to where it says arrange and I'm going to hit send to back. Now later on, it'll make sense why I did this. But for now, let's use the word happy and warp it into this top shape here. So I'm going to select this top shape here. I'm going to hold the shift key and select the text box with the word happy. Okay. So now let me remove my uh, face cam from down here. I'm going to go up here to object. And then I'm going to go all the way down to where it says envelope distort. And then I'm going to click on make with top object. Now, as you can see, the word happy, that text is now warped into that top heart shape like so. Now, just like any other shape in Illustrator, this shape here has anchor points, which is what these dots are along the heart. Now, with your white arrow tool, you can select each anchor point and you can either move it around or you can delete it. So I'm going to delete some of these middle anchor points here because this letter P in the middle seems off, like very off. So I'm going to delete a few anchor points that are down here by hitting the backspace or delete button. Click on the anchor point here, delete it. And now that's looking better. But with every anchor point that's on here, it also has handles so you can control the curves of these uh, anchor points. So like say, here's a square right here, that's an anchor point. And connected to that square is gonna be a line with a circle at the end, that's a handle. So you can change and manipulate the curves of this uh, vector image. You can also do this prior to warping the text onto this shape as well. But yeah, so let me hit Command-0 to zoom the fit. And I'm kind of satisfied with that result. So um, we're going to leave it like that. But that's something you can do with anchor points in case you end up with a result that I just fixed. So now let's proceed to using the word Valentine's onto this shape. So I have this shape selected, hold the shift key and select the text box with the word Valentine. Or if you're doing this with any other text, select the text box with the text you want to warp into that shape. Now go back up here to object, go to envelope distort, make with top object. And you can see that the word Valentine's warped into that custom shape that we made earlier. And it looks like I'm satisfied with the warping here. So no need to change anything about that, or at least in my case. So now let's go over here to day. I'm going to select that text box, hold the shift key, select the shape. I'm going to warp that into I go back to object, envelope distort, make with top object. And now the word day is now warped into that shape. All right, so now that we have each and every text box warped into each custom shape of our heart, let's say I wanna move this entire heart shape along with each and every text box. So earlier I showed you guys how to ungroup all these shapes so that way each shape is on its own. 
what we can do is select all these shapes again then what we're going to do is use the keyboard shortcut command G to group these shapes together or just use this button right here that says group. So command G, I'm going to use that. And now these shapes are now one. So I'm going to center that to my canvas by hitting this little button up here to center it horizontally. And then this button right here to center it vertically because I have a square canvas. But despite these shapes being all in one group, let's say I want to change something about the fonts, like the color or the typeface about it. You can still do that even after you warp the text into this shape. So now that these are all in a group, I'm going to double click on just this word happy. And now as you can see in my workspace, there's no option for me to change the color or the typeface about it. So, after clicking the word happy, I can go over here to this little icon with a star on it that says edit contents. So I'm going to click that and you can see that the original shape of my text box is now here and the word happy, like we had earlier, is now there. So I'm going to double click on that text box so that way I can select a certain piece of text that I either want to change the typeface or the color of. So I'm just going to highlight this letter A here. And I'm going to go to my color options. I'm going to change that to a green color, actually. And now I'm going to click away from that. And you can see that the letter A has changed to a green color. But now let's say I want to change the typeface about that, too. So I'm going to do the same thing and double click on it to select. Let me select the letter P and the letter Y. The last letter P and the Y and the word happy. So to change the typeface about it, let's go to character. And then this little uh, drop box where our fonts are, we can just pick and choose a font that we want to change that to. Like, let me try this uh, bold font here. And as you can see, it kind of overlaps with the text that's underneath it. So I'm not satisfied with that change. So I'm going to hit command Z. And now it's back to the way it was. But even after you warp the text into the shape, you can always edit something about the color or the typeface about the text that you warped into the shape like we just did today. So since this is a Valentine's Day, uh, I don't know, design, I should say, um, I'm actually going to change the color of some of this text. I'm going to do that in time lapse and then come back to you guys. All right, and here's what the final design looks like after doing lots of trial and error when it came to color choice and providing a super cool 3D effect to each piece of text. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this design. Does it work? Does it not work? Let me know down in the comments. And speaking of comments, if you like this video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I can't let a nigga like Pat Kate.